Hey, it's the fairy and I'm off with my, some more of my crazy stuff. Uh, this is another thing no one ever does. They don't study the broadheads after a kill. And in this particular video, this young man, Ross, shot this pig through the humerus ball. There's a link in the description for that full video and necropsy. I'll have the card pop up here somewhere. Here's a picture of the thumbnail. So I'd have you go watch that after you watch this to see what kind of hit it was, which was right on the humerus ball and it blew the humerus ball apart. Here's a picture of the fragments and the broadhead. And then I went to check the broadhead after the kill to see how, you know, how it held up. Dr. Ed says, we don't know, want to know what the broadhead does to the animals. We want to know what the animals do to the broadhead. Here's a quick analysis. <laughs> sharpen up your broadhead and since I'm getting old I gotta have these things but so one of the things I'm, I'm just looking at the broadhead real up close right there there is a tiny tip curl I don't know if y'all can see that in the camera little tiny bit I, which I can just buff right off with a sharpening stone and I was gonna sharpen this broadhead but just to check it, so remember this broke the humerus ball, shattered it, and there were bone fragments everywhere. So I always like to see what happens after, when you get your broadheads back, if you really care about this sport, then you will check this kind of stuff. And I said, hey, I wonder what the sharpness level is after shooting through a solid bone, shattering it into pieces, hitting the spine and redirecting. And I put it on paper and that's pretty good for a, for a broadhead that just went through a bone. That's pretty good edge integrity. And here's the other side. Often one blade is duller than the other Look at that. So, <laughs> that's it. I've done this a long time. That's really impressive that a broadhead would go through. This is, there's the broken shaft. I mean, we didn't alter anything, and I've got the bent tip, that little tiny tip end, which is probably when it right when it hit the bone and kept going. Maybe that's why it redirected. We don't know. But that's incredibly sharp. That's sharper than most broadheads out of the package. And it went through a bone, and, and then the bone exploded. So just more of my dorky stuff, but this is the super details that you need to be paying attention to in this bow hunting game. If you get a broadhead, even if it does that kind of damage and you get your animal, and then it's all shredded and chipped up, and it's flattened and the blades are broke off and stuff, you need to reconsider whether your broadhead choice is good. So. If you shoot an animal with a broadhead and the broadhead is absolutely wrecked when you're done and you've got your animal that went 40 yards, let's say the same thing that happened to Ross happens to you, but your broadhead's destroyed. You need to start wondering if the next one's going to cost you on the next animal. It's just something to think about. So this is the kind of stuff I think about. And that's why uh, we go deep and try to go deep into the science of this stuff and just do all these details it's cool to get your animal, it's cool to have it go nowhere, but this kind of analysis is the kind of stuff that makes the next one even better. So, just a little bit of extra detail. And Charlie's cooking, so we're gonna actually finally eat. It's 10 o'clock and there's been a lot of beer, apparently. So, all right, thanks for watching. Like this content, I suggest you go to one of my playlists. Three that I might suggest. The Quartering Two Shot Series. My study of long range arrow performance, which is a study of 
energy and speed and everything as the arrow goes down range. And then also look at my high FOC arrow building playlist. It's got all got great information. And to get you started on this crazy journey, start digging a hole, looking for a shovel. And when you get to that shovel, your efficiency in the bow hunting world and on me performance will skyrocket. I promise.